Of the last on Sandown Cup night, of course, won by Irish Millie. And another update on Fast Minardi. He's been transferred to a, another vet clinic in the local region in Dandenong. And by all reports, uh, although he's hurt, he should be fine. So we'll learn more and without doubt talk a lot more about it on the morning line on Monday morning. Gretchy, the last here tonight. What is the market telling us? Yeah, it's a wide open betting affair, but Zipping Wing Cup did see a lot of early support. But since then, that has dried up. Uh, Settlement Day also in Box 8 has seen some support, but again, it is a very wide open race and there's money spread around here in race 12. I can't give you a, a good guide in terms of where the, where, where the good money's gone or where most of the money's gone because it is spread along the likes of Tiglong Intention, Zipping Wing Cup and Settlement Day. For me, a ground like Dundee Rebel, you know, he drops in class to this event, you know, he's a, he's a former star. He's drawn box five. I think if you can show his early speed, we know he can. He's going to be in this race up to his eyeballs. Uh, Dishevelled there, it well, did open up two dollars ninety. Now out of six dollars, it hasn't seen much support at all. It opened up your favourite, but now we aren't seeing much action at all for it. Settlement Day looks to be the one, along with Zipping Wing Cup. Okay, about to be loaded to the last here at Sandown Park on a dramatic Sandown Cup night, and certainly a race that's no stranger to that. But a man who's done a great job, not only tonight, but throughout the whole Sandown Cup series, is Dan Hibbard. Here he is for the last. Set for the last of the night here at Sandown on Sandown Cup final night. Irish Millie, the winner of the Group 1 in a race that uh, changed her complexion amazingly in the home straight the last time. Set to go, race 12. Ready. And away, there was great speed out. Settlement Day wanted to get across to the rail at all costs. It's charging over and will get to the lead. Right behind it was Sit and Steer. Three lengths then to knock out Norm. On the inside was Dundee Rebel. Well back to Shevold. Second last sipping wind cup. And last of all was Tigger Intention. Settlement Day in front, but not for long. Sit and Steer's gone up to pour on the pressure. Running on was Knockout Norm. And right behind them, Dundee Rebel. Sit and Steer the leader. After it was Dundee Rebel with a run. Dundee Rebel dives and he missed. Sit and steer kicked and won. Beat Dundee Rebel and knock out Norm. Fourth, it'll be Settlement Day ahead of Dishevelled. And then a gap to Tigger Intention zipping Wind Cup in 29 and 92. Number one, Sit and Steer has won the last. Dundee Rebel. That Dundee Rebel sort of isn't necessarily, at least at this part of his career, promised what he, or delivered on what he initially promised and almost got the chockies. Yeah, he and his brother were so good this time last year heading up to the Brisbane Winter Carnival and just probably have struggled to recapture that form in the last few months. But, um, yeah, that was a nice return form from him. Um, obviously narrowly going down there, but, yeah, the winner just too good. Sit and steer, Gretchy. Well, that's exactly what... If you had a jockey, that's exactly what he just needed to do, sit and steer from box one. He... Settlement Day crossed and led, sit and steer, punched up on the fence, got the second gun down the back and just hooked around Settlement Day and, and held off Dundee Rebel late. It was $3.80 sold in the market all the way through sit and steer, but that's a good little victory there to round out Sandown Cup night. Indeed, Kat, it's been a big carnival. We've had some exceptional weeks of racing and tonight, although we haven't seen the card that we saw over the first two weeks, quite dramatic in its own right, but... We do have a Sandown Cup win on the honour roll. Yeah, we do. And um, the race was obviously... It was a dampener, definitely, what happened in the home straight. But um, I also feel a little bit for Steve White and Connections there because um, they deserve to celebrate an achievement to win a Sandown Cup and Irish Millie and what a remarkable job they've done with her. So um, just a moment to, to celebrate them as well because um, she was a deserving winner. And, um, yeah, it's obviously going to be marred by a little bit of sadness there. But thankfully we're hearing from the race that all four dogs are going to be okay coming out of it hopefully um, in the next few months as well so um, you know sad circumstances surrounding it but um, congratulations to Steve White and Connections there with Irish Millie because they just still deserve to be able to celebrate that 100% win. and it's not like Richie that that happened and she won the race because of it she was there ready to strike and won in, in her own right. Yeah most definitely and you know they, they deserve like Kat said they deserve to celebrate it is would have been a bit tough um, knowing the Greyhound community and, and everyone gets around each other and they would have been feeling the pain um, from the trainers and owners of Fast Minardi but I think now they can sit back knowing that um, she's in good care now, Fast Minardi and, and Steve White and Connections there can celebrate a win and 
We can't also not forget the win of Aston Olive in the Pup Cup. It was oh. my favourite favourite part of the night. The old girl, she's third in the last uh, episode of the Pup Cup and takes victory tonight. What a race it was. Yeah, and plenty of good form lines to come out of that race. <laughs> yeah, look, I am still saying it should have been a no race because hooked on Pom Pom, I think the entire track was um, on hooked on Pom Pom after that hot mail that we got before the first race. and. Uh, you watched the, the head on and definitely got spooked by the cameraman, so I'm calling for a steward's inquiry into that. Yeah, one. a lot to play out, I think, over the next oh. week or two from an integrity department uh, for the Pup Cup tonight. But past three weeks have been great. Pleasure to share it with you two, and not sure what I'll do next week, but it won't be as fun, I know that. No, it's. Um, well, I'm thankful that I'm going to Queensland next week because this oh, winter weather has absolutely flogged me the last few weeks, so I'm looking forward to getting up to Brisbane. We're not all that lucky, Gretchy. No, no, we're not. I'll be. Um, I'll sit back and tune into the Ballarat Cup heats on. On true. Yeah, on, in the next couple of days. Um, there's some good greyhounds going around there. Fernando Field, Explicit, and a few others there. There's some good heats, and um, you know, there'll be some good racing. I, I don't know if you're going to head out there or not, Patch, but I won't be, mate. I'll be defrosting after tonight, but <laughs> oh, I'll be at. I'll be at home on air going through those Ballarat Cup heats, but. Uh, it's been a great carnival. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for your support, not only tonight, but over the past three weeks. It's been great fun. Three ripping winners of each of the Group 1s over the past few weeks. And without doubt, we'll be back soon doing the same thing all over again. And personally, back Monday morning on the morning line to wrap it all up. Thanks, Dawes. Thanks, Dawes. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks.